got another great video from How to Have Fun Outdoors. That's right, the Discovery Bus is out and about. This time, it's Okemo versus Sunapi. That's right, New Hampshire versus Vermont, and a big title bout between these two. They're both located in the middle of the state, uh, the Okemo in the middle of the state of Vermont, and Sunapi in the middle of the state of New Hampshire. Definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out uh, our Facebook page, and definitely hit the notify button. And also check out our website, howtohavefunoutdoors.com. Definitely share with your friends. Uh, we've got all kinds of great winter videos this year, uh, ice fishing, snowshoeing, and uh, all kinds of ski resorts all over the world and uh, we want to motivate you to get outside and have some fun on how to have fun outdoors that's right today we're going to sunapi there we are up in the glades and we're going to be going to okimo that's right this is one beautiful ski resort what we're going to do just like our other two videos where we had okimo versus stowe and sunaby versus stowe today we're going to rank the two resorts and tell you what we think is the best ski resort between the two of them Alright, let's talk about where these ski resorts are located. Mount Sunapee Resort is located in central New Hampshire. Fantastic location right next to the Mount Sunapee State Park and Lake Sunapee. Beautiful location. One of my favorite areas in New England. Uh, believe it or not, Lake Sunapee's got the harbor uh, there where you've got all the celebrities. People like Steve Tyler, Aerosmith Band used to practice on this lake. Just a gorgeous area, fun ski resort, and a great place to visit. It's right off the 89, which makes it ideal. Coming up from the 93, which comes straight up from Boston. It's a great location right in central New Hampshire. Okemo is actually located in central Vermont, and it is also in a great location right there in Ludlow, Vermont. And this is a huge resort. The acreage is major league, uh, much bigger than a lot of the resorts in New England. But as you can see as we pan out, it's a nice location. You can get to Okemo easily up the 91 or up 87 and cross over by Lake George. Or if you're coming up from Boston, you can take the 93 and swing over. It's a great location. So both of these resorts are in the middle of New Hampshire, in the middle of Vermont, easy to get to from Boston, New York, Connecticut, any of these areas, and uh, they're both excellent ski resorts to visit. Okay, let's get started with the Epic Pass Challenge where we rank Okemo versus Sunapee, and let's start with the vertical 2200 feet at Okemo, definitely much more than Sunapee, but I tell you, for southern New Hampshire, Sunapee is at the top of the list with 1,500. In regards to acres and overall size, Okemo is a monster, 667 acres, almost triple Sunapee. In fact, Okemo is even bigger than Stowe in many New England resorts. Ski runs, 121 versus 66. Okemo is just a much bigger resort. They take the lead 3-0 to zero in the competition. And in regards to terrain parks, 8 versus 4. Okemo wins this one also. And then when it comes to the children's area, I've got to go with Sunapee again. They have got a fantastic children's area. Sunapee uh, is kind of known for this. I mean, uh, Okemo has a great area too, but uh, got to give that to Sunapee. And then regards to snowfall, 16.6 feet per year on average, 8 to 10 at Sunapee. Pretty close. But overall, the main takeaway is... Okemo is just a much bigger resort. If you can get over there, enjoy that snow in Vermont, it is tremendous. So let's go ahead and move on to the next part of this uh, video where we give you an update on each ski resort and then we'll finish it up with and determine who's going to be the winner with Okemo versus Sunapee. Okay, let's talk about Mount Sunapee in New Hampshire. This is a fantastic resort. 
one of my favorites and uh, it's just a great little ski resort north of Manchester, New Hampshire in Boston and quite honestly this is very friend, uh, family friendly and a great place to go and this year opening day for your 2021-2022 update is November 24th so that's some great news they usually get this ski resort opened early we'll talk about the 2021-22 epic passes lots going on there um, also uh, we're going to talk about the big price reduction 20 percent which is fantastic we'll go over all of the COVID safety for this year and uh, talk about some of the different things that they've got cooking at Sunapee uh, this year. So let's start with the passes themselves. Some really good deals, and this is for all of the Vail resorts. 20% off, they want everybody out there back skiing again. So the Epic Local Pass at 619, that's a fantastic deal. The Northeast Value Pass, um, this is fantastic for anybody living in New England, 499 great deal there this is one of my favorites here especially if you can get out during the midweek uh, $377 uh, to access all the Northeast resorts that's Sunapee that's Stowe that's uh, Okemo etc that is a fantastic deal um, obviously the overall epic pass that lets you go everywhere and there's tons of great resorts uh, that's 819 that's what I do personally with the leche every year and then you have the day pass and the way this works is you just pick the amount of days but for a single day you're looking at $91 at Sunapee uh, for the 2021 to 2022 season all right so let's talk about the safety guidelines for 2022 season what you need to know so on the mountain access they will not have mountain reservation systems this season and they will load the lifts and gondolas to at normal capacity optimizing guests moving around uh, the resorts face coverings will be required in the indoor settings including the restaurants lodging properties restrooms retail rental locations buses etc uh, but the good news this year is face coverings will not be required outdoors in lift lines or on chair lifts um, unless required by the local public health authorities so that's great news for this 2022 season i won't go over this on the okimo side or the stove side uh, all of them are the same um, on the dining reservations like last season guests will be required to book a reservation in advance uh, 12 and over you're going to have to show proof of your COVID-19 vaccinations under 12 you're good to go all cashless transactions this year um, they are doing a lot in regards to cleaning and disinfecting employee vaccinations so everybody that works for Vail Resorts will be required to be vaccinated um, and you know they will have daily health screenings and face coverings uh, for all of those people so overall uh, a lot going on and uh, you know I think the main takeaway is no face coverings will be required to ski and ride but there's more on the website in regards to this with Q&A and you can check that out so Mount Sunapee is a special place lots to see and do around the area like we talked about um, but overall lots of history here too and the region is just fantastic uh, but when you look at the mountain itself the stories uh, the history of this goes back to 1909 they actually opened the ski resort in 1948 with the 3300 foot North Peak single chair um, and they had three trails two tow ropes uh, to the North Peak Lodge and uh, the ski resort is continued to expand there and the Mueller's bought it back in 1998 and as you know that all got sold off to Vail Resort. Okay let's talk about the fun stuff the stats on the mountain 67 trails and uh, covering 233 skiable acres 18 miles of terrain we got 18 on the easy trails 32 on the more difficult and 17 on the most difficult trail. Summit ele elevation is 2,743 feet. Vertical drop, 1,510 feet. That's the highest in southern New Hampshire. Longest trail, two miles, a ridge trail. A lot of fun on that trail. Four terrain parks, four mulga runs, nine glades, believe it or not. 
and uh, overall nine lifts that's right three quad chairs two high speed two triples four surface lifts and an average snowfall of about 130 inches per year it's open from november to april and the snow making is great at sunapee with 97 percent of all the terrain covered Here's a great trail map of Mount Sunapee. Believe it or not, the trail map was down on the website, so that was a little disappointing. However, was able to pull this together for you. And here's a nice overview of Mount Sunapee. Great little mountain. At the Sunapee Lodge, you got a nice high-speed quad that takes you all the way up to the summit lift. And you can take that back down to the back bowl and ride up the quad, the high-speed uh, quad in the back bowl. Lots of great skiing over here by the terrain park. And one of the things that's super nice about Sunapee, if you've got little kids, um, I highly recommend this whole South Peak learning area. It is fantastic for children. There's no other runs coming into that, so you don't have to worry about high-speed skiers and snowboarders and everybody else. It's just a great place for the kids to learn and uh, that's one of the uh, big advantages I think of Sunapee over some of the other ski resorts. One of the other nice features of Sunapee, I even had my two kids in these programs, is the Alpine Freestyle programs that they have for children. So if you're in the Boston region, New Hampshire region, Vermont, they have a great program for all the children and these Alpine programs go from all the way little bitty kids six to seven u10 eight to nine ten to eleven twelve thirteen all the way up and uh, lots of great coaches and great uh, learning experience for a child to get out there and do some ski racing or do some freestyle most of the ski resorts have this but i think sunapee just does a fantastic job with it Okay, we've reviewed the Sunapee updates, but before we start, don't forget we've got lots of great ski videos on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, skiing at Sunapee, skiing at Stowe, history and top five positive, super popular video, skiing at Okemo, definitely check that out. We do outside of Vail Resorts like Mad River Glen, the home of the single chairlift, the only one left in continental United States, and then the challenges, Okemo versus Stowe, check that one out. That is incredible. So let's head off to the next ski resort to get our 2022 update. Dokimo, boy, is this a fantastic ski resort located in central Vermont. It's part of the epic season pass, and we're going to discuss this today versus Stowe. And if you haven't seen our Okemo video, definitely check that out. Lots of history, lots of tips, but uh, a great video. And we ski around that resort a little bit so you get a feel for it. But today we're going to give you a big update on the 2021 to 2022 snow season, winter season at Okemo. And lots to talk about. Lots of good news. In fact, let's start with the bottom line. They're going to open opening day this year will be November 20th. So we're off to an early start. Looks really good. And the other great news is, believe it or not, it's still online with the Epic Pass, which is huge. But the pass this year has been reduced by 20%. So you can get out there and ski. And I'm going to show you a little more detail on the Northeast and the overall Epic Ski Pass, which is just awesome. Uh, we're going to go through the COVID safety um, uh, for 2021 and 22 ski season. But we'll also talk about some of the overall Okemo in uh, improvements and boy it should be a great year lots going on uh, with with the ski resort and we're gonna talk about that for sure so let's start first with the epic pass that's right 20% reduction and I was shocked when I saw these new uh, epic passes the local pass uh, is now marked down to 619 so take advantage of that the Northeast value pass 499 how do you beat that? And that's for people that just want to ski in the Northeast. And then you've got obviously the Epic Day Passes and uh, overall the complete Epic Pass, which we do every year. Marked down to 819 this year and it gives you unlimited access with no blackout dates. 
and you can ski all over. There is just a ton of resorts. You also have the new Northeast Midweek Pass for three seventy seven, dollars and that is a killer deal, especially if you're one of those work-from-home uh, types or you can get out of work and uh, during the weekdays. That is an incredible deal. And you can see here that uh, you do not need to wear a face covering to ski and ride the season, which is going to be awesome. Um, and uh, we'll, you know, as we talked about, you will need it indoors. But there's a breakdown to all the rules and uh, should make it a lot easier to do some skiing this year with not having the requirement outdoors. So at Okemo, there's some more new improvements, which is really exciting. They're going to debut their uh, overall uh, improvements this winter season with the launch of the Quantum 6 and the Evergreen Summit Express lifts, uh, plus a new Green Link access trail. So if you uh, take a look at the map and you'll see the difference here, but um, as we come up here, you're going to have two nice new and one over here uh, lift, which is going to make it really, really exciting. Uh, to ski at Okemo this year. Nothing like having some new lifts to explore the terrain. And uh, we're very excited, especially um, to try out uh, some of these new areas with this uh, design. You know, this is going to be really good. We're very excited. For those of you that are new to Okemo, there's 121 trails, slopes, and glades. Lots of great glades there, actually. 20 lifts, including one high speed detachable six pack chair, uh, one new high speed detachable six pack chair, nine quad chairs, believe it or not. And the lifts are open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. A lot of people don't know this on Saturday, Sunday, and the holidays. We always try to get there early on the weekends and holidays, and there's typically not that many people between 8 and 9. So it's a great time to get out there and get that fresh groomed snow. Vertical's really nice, especially for southern Vermont, 2,200 uh, feet. 98% of the uh, uh, mountain has got the snowmaking. Base elevations at 1,144, uh, summit at 3,344. And they get about two inches of snow every year, 632 acres. So it's a nice size resort with uh, two lodges. So speaking of the resort and the size, as you can see here to the left, you have the clock tower base area which is in this area here. And this is really the main entrance. Lots of plenty of parking over here. And then when you get over to this side, uh, this is the new area. Really great area. Lots of nice lifts coming out of here. Uh, but you can see you've got tons of terrain at Okemo. And the, the, one of the things that Okemo has always been known for is the grooming and the snow quality. It's outstanding and just a fantastic ski resort to ski at. Okay, now we have both updates from both ski resorts, so it's back to the battle of who is the champion between Sunapee and Okemo. So let's talk about scenery and views. There's nothing really like Mount Sunapee. You've got Lake Sunapee, just some fantastic views, beautiful area. So Sunapee's going to take that one. And in regards to lifts, there's not a lot of competition here. Okemo has got Sunapee beat. They got the six packs, tons of modern. Uh, detachable quads and uh, new lifts. Uh, Okemo definitely takes the point there. Um, another victory for Okemo. As far as New England charm, family feels, services, I still think Sunapee wins here and we'll give them a point and Sunapee's making its nice comeback 6-3 to three on the overall ranking. However, when it comes down to the overall resort, Okemo's going to take this thing 7-3 to three with an overall resort rating of 9 out of 10. Okemo is a world-class ski resort. If you haven't been there, definitely 
go visit. Uh, it is the Vale of the East, and you're going to enjoy it. So from How to Have Fun Outdoors, final vote, Okemo wins 7-3 to three over Sunaby. We hope you liked the video. Definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Tell your friends about the channel. Help motivate the How to Have Fun Outdoor crew. Make you some more great ski and winter videos. We've got great summer videos. And comment down below. Do you think Sunapee should have won? Or do you think Okemo is the better resort? Let us know your thoughts. Let us know if you've skied at these places, what you like and what you don't like. And thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Outdoors.